Hi guys, welcome back. Classic style commuter bikes are the ones that the majority prefer for daily use and one such bike which was selling good was the Honda Shine 125. And now that the conversion to BS6 has happened, the Shine got updated to BS6. Well with the update there are some key changes that has happened and the big question is whether this new Shine BS6 is a good update or its previous version. And also the changes that the new version received, is it big enough for the price hike that has happened? Well this video is to clear all that doubts because it's the comparison of the Honda Shine BS4 and the Honda Shine BS6. First let's check the design of both the bikes and here there isn't much of changes with the design of the BS4 and the BS6 version. Like the headlight, it's the same old design which is a very simple looking headlight with a glossy visor above it in both the versions. And here the chrome crown actually got a bit of tweak and now it looks a bit more sharper. Now this headlight in both the versions is halogen bulb and actually that was expected even with this new BS6 version but the good part with the BS6 version is that this time it's a DC halogen bulb so the illumination is more even and the spread is good so right through pitch dark is to an extent good with the new BS6 shine and also it has improved compared to the BS4 shine. Then for the handlebar, it's the same in both the BS6 and BS4 versions where it's a U-shaped chrome handlebar but here changes has happened and it's with the switch controls. Well, in the BS4 version, you get the dim bright switch along with the pass light, indicator toggle and horn on the left side and on the right side, there was just the self-start switch. But with the BS6 version of the Shine, even though the left side switch controls are the same, its pattern is new and here the dim bright and pass light is a single switch. But on the right side, instead of just a self-start switch, what you get is a self-start as well as an engine kill switch as a single unit. This is a much handy switch option and I'm happy that Honda is now moving to this trend. But what I'm not happy about is the speedometer. Well, it's kind of the same fully analog one in the BS6 Shine like the BS4 version and here the only difference is that the unit in the BS4 one is a fully circular one and with the BS6 one it's laid out with these grooves. But it's basically the same with this two side setup which shows the bare minimum stuff. And this similarity is carried throughout even with the tank and its size and also the graphics pattern. This is the BS6 Shine tank and here as you can see it has this 3D logo with a simple graphics and also the tank size is average. And now this one is the BS4 Shine tank and as you can see both are almost very similar. But here in the tank there is one very welcome change and that's with the fuel cap. Well in the BS4 version the fuel cap was this protruding one which comes off but with the BS6 version it's this more elegant flushed one. Then for the side cowl well the old Shine gets full chrome section while this new one has the stroke pattern which looks much more elegant. And now moving to the rear section, well both the versions get very simple looking tail light with again very minor structure changes and for the grab bar for the pillion, it's the exact same in both the bikes which is by the way body colored and also comfortable for the pillion. Then finally with the exhaust, it has also received tweaks in which the new one is a shorter one than the one seen in the BS4 Shine. Well these differences are very minor but they are actually good ones and now the design seems a bit more polished with this BS6 version of the Shine. But still, Honda could have done more stuff in the design side, but maybe because the bike is targeting more towards mass crowd, they didn't want to take that risk. And here what has actually changed the most is the core stuff and that change was needed and here it has done great. And that core thing is the engine. The old BS4 Shine's engine was a 124.73cc air-cooled 4-stroke single-cylinder carburetor one, while the new BS6 Shine comes equipped with a 124cc 4-stroke single-cylinder programmed fuel injection engine. Now here the max torque and power generated by this new engine is slightly more than that of the BS4 version and here the BS6 Shine also gets some great new features like silent start and enhanced smart power technology. This is like a very drastic change for the engine and here firstly while starting which is by the way even with this new BS6 version there is self as well as kick start and here on hitting that self start button the engine of the BS6 Shine starts silently without any gear machine noise in a very satisfying manner. And on hitting the road, this new Shine's engine is much more refined and is better in terms of performance and smoothness. It's like for a speed range from 0 to 80 km per hour, there is no vibration or disturbance and even there wasn't any signs of engine stress. And that's a big improvement compared to the BS4 Shine, which actually showed slight engine stress even while pushing above the 70 km per hour mark. This new BS6 engine is much more superior than the BS4 engine in terms of performance and quality and here to support that, even the gear system is different. The old BS4 Shine had a 4-speed gearbox while this new BS6 version gets a 5-speed gearbox. And here this extra gear is one factor that does help in increasing the overall ride quality. Well I did mention this in our detailed review of the Shine BS6 which is the gear pattern of this new Shine is not the standard one but instead it's the all up shifts. It's not a problem but if you are used to the standard pattern you need to get used to this. Here by updating the engine Honda has actually made the Shine a bike which is much more usable for longer rides. The BS4 Shine was a perfect one only for city rides and here this new BS6 Shine on top of being a perfect and ideal city use bike it can be taken for occasional longer rides too. 
But here also, this bike is not a touring bike and that's mainly because the engine is not a very powerful one and also because Honda actually didn't touch the safety side. The tires used in the BS6 shine is the same as the one used in the BS4 shine where both the front and rear tire are 80mm thick, fitted to a 18 inch alloy wheel and here both are tubeless tires. And also for the brakes used, well both the versions of the shine has two variants in which the front can be either 240mm disc or 130mm drum and the rear brake is 130mm drum. And also in the BS4 and BS6 version, there is CBS or Combi braking system available. Well here the tires might have been kept small for getting good mileage and that's fine because this bike is falling in a segment which focuses on mileage but because of the smaller tires, you need to think a lot about safety while trying to hit higher speeds. And also taking corners should be done in a very controlled manner. And since the brakes used are something that's standard for a bike in this segment, the safe braking speed for the disc brake variant is below the 70 km per hour mark, which is actually same for both the versions of the Shine. Well, to be frank, I don't have much complaints about the brakes and also about the tires because for regular daily use, this should serve you fine. Then moving to the comfort side, well, I'm going to say it straight, which is this new BS6 Shine is a slightly more comfortable bike than the BS4 version. It's not a very drastic difference, but here I was feeling more relaxed even after riding for 50km in a stretch in the new Shine. And that might be because of the slightly improved seat, which is now 20cm more long with sufficiently good cushioning. Well, the side cushioning still could have been better, but comparing the BS6 and the BS4 Shine, the seat used in the BS6 Shine is more comfortable for both the rider and the pillion. Then for the riding poster, it's same in both the versions of the Shine, and it's a perfect upright one. Here for me, I didn't have any troubles from the handlebar or for reaching the ground with the BS4 and the BS6 version of the Shine, and for your reference, my height is 176 cm. Now the suspension basically seems to be the same in the BS6 and the BS4 version of the Shine in spec sheet, where the front one is a telescopic fork, and the rear one is a 5-step adjustable hydraulic one. But in road, I did notice change in suspension stiffness, and I did like this new setting. So all of this together, like I mentioned before, did provide slightly improved ride comfort in the new BS6 Shine. And this improvement hasn't stopped here because it's even noticeable with the mileage. Well, both the versions of the Shine has a 10.5 litre tank, but from the BS6 Shine, the mileage I got during testing in city condition was 64 km per litre, while from the BS4 version, the mileage I got was approximately 57 km per litre. It's a good increase and it's mainly because of this new engine and also this new Shine is a lighter bike weighing 115 kg compared to 123 kg weight of the BS4 Shine. Well, this weight change didn't affect the stability while riding at higher speed and also the ride control is still good for city use with this new BS6 Shine. And now lastly, the ground clearance has also increased by 5mm in the BS6 Shine and it's now 162mm, so this is like a bit more safety for the underside of the bike. Things even though at a glance might seem to be untouched with this upgrade, but after testing it, I can say that's not the case. Major changes happen with the engine, which in turn reflects with the performance, mileage and ride quality. And then by slightly improving every bit of the bike, the ride comfort and overall ride experience is better with this new BS6 Shine. I feel it's a well thought out and good update and this bike has taken its spot pretty well. But as you might already know, BS6 versions of every vehicle does have that price hike thing, which is true even with this BS6 Shine. There is approximately 9000 Indian rupees of price difference with the disc variant of the BS6 Shine and the BS4 version. And now the ex showroom pricing of the disc variant of the BS6 Shine is approximately 77,174 Indian rupees. And if in case you're from Kollam, Kerala and you want to know the on-road pricing or do a test ride or even make a booking after the lockdown, you can contact the number shown here. Well, that price hike is on the high side, but since they have done the update in a very good way, which overall made the Shine a better bike, this new BS6 Shine is surely a good option if you're looking to buy a classic style 125cc commuter bike. And also if you have an older version of the Shine with you and you're planning to upgrade, this new one should be of high priority in your list. And I would highly suggest to get a test ride to feel all the improvements. That's up for this video guys. Hope you liked it. If so, please do hit the like button and also please don't forget to subscribe. See you again in the next one. Till then, bye.